Yeah, I'm Joe Leach and, uh, and I'm directing the project. Uh, I'm from the Cowshed Studio in London and uh, about 2005 I went to the Greenfields and saw a straw bale structure there and went inside and I was amazed at the acoustics. So uh, I thought it would be a good idea to make a, a recording studio out of straw bale. Um, I approached Greenpeace with the idea, they really loved it, and we turned it into something that can uh, raise awareness of the protest song and uh, also funds for the Rainbow Warrior. It's been, uh, it's been quite an odyssey, especially with the weather, but, um, but the, the timber framers got here about four weeks ago and started putting this up. Um, that took a good sort of two and a half weeks. This is the green room here, which is where the artists can chill out. This is the backstage area, and through the doors there, we have the doors to our main stage. So as you can see, all the walls are made of straw. Come in here and you'll see the most incredible control room in the world at the moment. Because it is entirely housed in straw, we've got... Um, all of the equipment, all of it has been donated uh, by uh, people who, a lot of audio suppliers who when I called them they just loved the idea, they really wanted to support uh, the Greenpeace call. So the live room is in here. It's a larger space so we can fit all the musicians in. Yeah, this is the studio area. It's where we record the, the musicians, obviously, play. So what we're aiming to do is to uh, collect a body of work that uh, represents the zeitgeist from the perspective of Glastonbury Festival. And from the artists that are here, not necessarily the ones performing, but also the ones that are just here as musicians or you know working in, on fringe stages. We want them to come down and, and uh, give us their raising voices themed material. What we're doing for the Rainbow Warrior is we've got a project called the Cowshed Cut and uh, that's uh, a, a limited edition box set um, of 12 inch vinyl LPs that will be highly collectible and very limited run and it's being released by the Vinyl Factory. A lot of artists, some of the mainstream artists here, interested in coming down and performing on that. All the funds from that go to the Rainbow Warrior.